Peter Odenwingi made plenty of headlines in 2011 as he bagged a record 15 goals for West Bromwich Albion during his debut season in the English Premier League. West Bromwich Albion have the lead. Peter Odenwingi is making a real name for himself and he has stunned the Emirates Stadium. So when Trey Sports had the opportunity to shadow Peter, <laughs> along with fellow African footballers Benoit Suakoto and Sebastian Bassong, for a long weekend trip to Thailand, we jumped at the chance. Travelling to Bangkok to open a new academy, Trace had a rare insight into the mad, mad world of a Premier League footballer. I love it. <laughs> Getting down to the bare essentials, Peter loves a bit of pampering. Some guys might think it's wrong for a boy to clean his face, but I don't think it's wrong. Once in a while, you can't look after yourself even being a boy. Where is home for a man who was born in the USSR, represents Nigeria, and plays in England? Home for me. Anywhere they love football. <laughs> and we explain the connection between Africa, Thailand, and Sven Joran Eriksson. And it's called uh, the road to stardom. So only the name they chose for the academy makes me like, you know, have this positive feeling about road to stardom because everyone starts somewhere the journey. Peter's journey has taken him via Nigeria, Belgium, France, Russia and finally to England. He didn't sign his first professional contract until he was 21 and only now at 30 has he made it to the English Premier League. I don't regret anything in my life. I'm happy with the way things went. For me, you know, I look back at my career, everything went step by step. And, you know, at the late stage, I got to the highest level in, uh, you know, in my career. Uh, I have African genes. My 30s is like 20 in Europe, so no worries. I'm still going to be around. <laughs> yeah, take a picture. It was the first time Peter had been away with the Suakoto and Basong. He's played against them in the Premier League, and there was plenty of banter. So we wanted to know about the last time Benoit and Peter were up against each other. And there was one challenge, though, the last game. Yeah. I don't know what happened with him. I thought he, he looked stronger than me, but, you know, look at his muscles. But when we went contact, I don't know what happened with him. No, he I thought Cameroonians are I, strong. They he will tell you the truth. But he was helped by the fact that a Suakoto just pulled up there. Did he stretch something here? Because I know him well, I said, OK, maybe it will be cool if he can score one more time to, to Spurs against Spurs. If, if next season he can come to Spurs with this goal, it will yeah. be cool for so me because me. I will have one more friend who speaks French in my team. So I said, why not? OK, you see? You see, he let me score. Uh, <laughs> So Ikoto goes down rather easily and Odom Wingy scores! What about Pete's new hairstyle? He looks a little, little bit like uh, Tom Cruise in the... <laughs> you know when, when he's a, a killer, a serial killer? Yeah, now I'm a killer on the field. Yeah, but, uh, I hope I will not have a problem with him. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me a gun. <laughs> With the formalities out of the way, the players got their kit on and coached some of the children. I haven't been training for 40 days. The expectations are high though. Premier League player. <laughs> what about African boys coming here to learn their trade? Will there be a culture shock? Considering his international background, Peter's not a bad person to ask. Here it's like look, about colours. You know Africa is also about colours, like lots of different colours. Uh, OK, they, everyone loves football. Most of the time, maybe we're more into entertaining football. And you can see how they appreciate skill here and, uh, you know, little, little tricks. So it's a bit similar culture. What's good? Demonstration, left foot. Apart from football, maybe fruits and the sun <laughs> are the two similar things. So I think the, every African boy here feels, feels like home. Oops, Peter's shooting boots are looking a little bit rusty. Good goalkeeper, not me bad. <laughs> yeah, that's what you say. Some of these kids seem to be finding a way past the goalkeeper, so maybe Peter can pick up a couple of tips himself. The type of football they play here is to do a lot about with skills. It's a dry field, it's not like a wet English field that the ball slides a lot, so you need some skill to play. It's like Brazilian league, you know, dry fields, a little bit. Yeah, difference made on the ground, I believe. Uh, 
long balls, it's not their game, so that's why most of them are really skillful. It looks as though a career in coaching might well suit Peter when he hangs up his playing boots. But sessions, and because the guys are so down to earth, joining in with them makes this a special day, even if there is a language barrier. He says he's really happy. He's really happy. Yeah, he's really happy. <laughs> So with plenty of skills on show in the Okoto camp, there really was only one question left to ask, wasn't there? What, what does he think about Benny's hair? Your point, Benny, I have. Benny, I have. He thinks your hair is Well done. Well done. <laughs>